Hello Aries, it's Elle here to do your oracle reading for this week. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Thank you God for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, um, so Aries, it looks like you could be dealing with someone who is far away from you or someone that you've been dealing with for a number of years, one to two years. There's space, either physical space or emotional space between the two of you. It seems as if this could have been open relationship, third party situation. I'm married, you're married, girlfriend, boyfriend, you have something, I have something. And but you two got together, you connected for whatever reason. Um it seems as if this person may have reached out to you. They wanted to hook up again. Maybe you thought the message would be different. You thought it would be that the relationship had shifted or changed. Someone thought that you were still, if there was space and time and, and distance between the two of you, you kind of weren't talking. There was time that he, had elapsed between the two of you so you kind of didn't know where each other stood okay and then somebody saw you or they just kind of figured you were the wallflower that didn't have much going on and maybe that they felt as if you would um you would take to a message of maybe you know being a lover being one of their lovers or being a part of a their open relationship that they have um that was the message that came into you or came to you. This person, um, they do love you. Uh, they, they did fall in love with you, some type of love, but not enough to the point where um, they actually wanted to have something serious with you because we've got freedom and open relationship and freedom talks about um, not into a serious connection, nothing serious, um, independence, excitement no strings attached with my open relationship and then we have courtship it's like somebody tried to persuade you verbally physically giving you gifts i don't know um the sweet nothings tried to persuade you or make you fall in love with the idea of having a relationship or the idea that this person was in love with you but not ready to solidify anything because it looks as if they were not at a place where they could. Okay. They were already in a relationship. So it's like a layered connection. Like I already have a wife or a husband and now I want you to come in as this person in this capacity. And that's what we have here. Um, for some of you, you knew that this person was married. This is going to be kind of like a different story. You might have met this person like um, you met them club hopping and, you know, getting a lot of attention, um, knowing a lot of people, just having a large platform where people know you or see you. Um, and you met them in that capacity and then you fell in love with them. You guys may live at a distance from each other. But the cards want you to know that this person is saying, I'm never getting a divorce. Okay, so they're never, you know, they don't have any plans on divorcing. And you guys, especially with you living so far apart from, these were, these were supposed to be brains anyway, in my business. Um, <laughs> you guys may um, communicate telepathically. Like you can get messages to each other. You think of something, and it might even be what that person is thinking of or wants to say to you. It's almost as if you can communicate without being in the same space because there is distance here. You have been dealing with someone who's married or a couple for maybe a year or two. You've been going back and forth with this. Some of you started to kind of jump into or delve into, you know, kind of like, um, black magic or yeah doing some curses or trying to get your hopes and your wishes fulfilled in this connection using your gifts you know 
not in the right capacity and you just might have been in the wrong mindset if that's you or this is someone else this could be someone someone else in this um equation who is keeping their hooks on someone because they want to uh keep them bound to them all right also this is a this could be a situation where um you and someone met at work or this is going to take a lot of work for this to actually move forward you have your suspicions about this person and rightfully so especially if they're just showing up in your life with this message that concerns you um, I miss you. I love you. I've been thinking about you while they're married and they have, um, you know, a family. Um, again, you know, they could be long distance from you. OK. Um, and they're saying that you're their true love, but something has to do with money. Like maybe they they're in something for money. I don't know. They're doing something for money. Uh, this person could have reached out to you in the summer, spring months. When people are feeling frisky and riled up. This person may have made you fall in love with them. And it brought you to a place of negativity because you know that they didn't want anything real from you. So the cards are asking you to release the negativity. Release the argument within yourself. This whole do they really love me? Should I really wait? Should I do it? Release it. Take all mixed messages as a no. That's just general advice in your life moving forward, period. If you're dealing with anything or anybody in any capacity, business, romantic, family, all mixed messages equal no. And that brings you out of a place of confusion and unrest if you will just take that simple advice if i'm giving you mixed messages then clearly l means no I'll, I'll sum it up for her she means no because when someone is clear with you um when someone is direct it is what it is you can't argue with that there is no argument there is no confusion there's no disagreement and this person got your head all messed up to where you're arguing with yourself and the cards are asking you to adjust adjustments are required uh you're going to have to adjust how you're thinking about this your your mindset your emotions because this is um it's driving you mad okay for some of you who actually have been with this person, they're saying like, I love lying in your arms. Like somebody loves just to lay with you and, and be with you. Um, they love that connection, but that's all that they can offer you. Um, this relationship is gonna take a lot of work and or you need to do a lot of work to release this. Um, it just caused a lot of confusion, disruption in your life and now it's time for you to take um to take uh your power back um yeah this what this adjustments are, are needed here or just yeah, are required is you're you're out of balance and this person threw you out of whack or out of balance and you need to think about a whole new plan if the plan was to be with this person again you need to adjust that um something new and exciting is around the corner if you will allow yourself to get out of this connection um some of you are not you kind of are checked out of life you're not even dressing up going out getting out there or putting yourself out there because this has you so out of balance it's like you're waiting for something okay um and on a different note this card wanted to come out um some of you just have some spoiled rotten children and maybe this causes issue or has caused issue maybe even it caused so much issue that somebody is now looking outside of the connection outside of your relationship uh for um love for affection because your children are just spoiled rotten okay it could be you it could be the other person so this is what i have for you aries if it resonates please go over to the website 
book you're reading there take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below you can also donate to the channel if you took something from the reading you can give back by buying me a coffee if you feel moved to do so thank you aries many blessings to you take care